Today I'm reviewing some Barlow lenses. We are looking at this hanging basket, the marigolds in this hanging basket. And uh, this is the garden that I planted all, every single blade of thing that you can see plant is planted by myself, by my own hands. So let's see the instrument. This is a Skywatcher ED-AT, uh, Apochromatic Refractor Telescope. I will be using a, a SP Boni Aspheric 23mm 62 degree aspheric eyepiece. And I will show you the view. This is the view. This eyepiece compared to any other eyepieces is the brightest probably. And has a wider field of view compared to any puzzle. And it's as cheap or the same price as, as most puzzles. The first eyepiece is a, one of the older uh, versions of the Skull Watcher 2 times Barlow. As you can see, it has an attachment for attaching to a T ring. It's uh, quite heavy compared to others. The lens is big. And let's see how it will look. Okay, this is the Skull Watcher 2 times Barlow lens, and uh, as you can see, uh, we are now going to see the image through this eyepiece. This is the first one that I'm trying to look through. And here we are. As you can see, the edges of the field of view are a little bit fuzzy. The central part is very clear. You can, uh, that, well, I should correct myself. The uh, field stop is very fuzzy. You cannot see the field stop. Uh, that is the margin of the view where the um, eyepiece body uh, starts and uh, image stops. So it's very clear, very good in the sense of being clear. If I tap here on the flower to keep it in focus, you can see. The marigold flower is really good, nicely in focus. The marigold flower is nicely in the focus. This is a current uh, um, Barlow of the Star Watcher telescopes. So if I want to compare it. Yeah, I don't see any difference between that one and this one. They look the same to me. They're exactly the same, chunky and heavy. Yeah. So, what you saw here was the current one. This is a mid Barlow, as you can see. The lens is smaller than this Sky Watcher, but has a better coating, it seems to me. It's an older version, and it's three times. So, magnification with this one is really higher. So let's just put it there now and see how it is. Okay, this is a mid tele negative three times uh, lens. Let's see how is the view through here. Okay, you can see now with the mid three times Barlow, the magnification is higher, the field stop is visible. And uh, you can see more clear the, the little petals inside the flower. Details are amazing, beautiful. This is the Celestron 2 times Barlow. There are many versions of this and uh, many different Celestron ones. This one is this black one. Doesn't have the ring for separating the, to attaching to the camera. This lower part can be also 
twisted and used for the final viewer. And the lens has a good uh, coating, as you can see, it has at least two elements I can see. Let's see how it is in action. Has a good build quality, similar in a way to the Scar Watcher. If I put them close together, size almost same. Shape of the lens, the coating on the Scar Watcher is a kind of bluish reddish, and the Celestron is a green. So let's see how it is. This is the Celestron 2 times Barlow with the um, SV1 aspheric uh, 23 mm 62 degrees. Let's see how it is the image through this eyepiece and Barlow. Nice central part, very uh, clear view. You can see all the details at the center of the marigold flower. The field stuff is uh, beyond the frame of the um, and camera so you cannot see it it's very wide angle so far this one looks very nice let me just immediately put the, the skull washer two times Barlow and just compare very nice view a little bit sharper even than the Celestron or as sharp as I'm looking at the center parts in the flower and you can see a lot of details there. Yeah, they look to me very good. Having said that, they are not part of focal. You have to change the focus. They don't come in focus at the same distance. Details are amazing. You can see very well on this. Yeah, they are almost identical. Celestron probably is slightly sharper, slightly, a tad, not much. Beautiful view. This is the Bother uh, Qtotter 2.25mm Barlow. Uh, the lens um, has a very thin coating of red. I can see at least two elements in this, or three elements, I can say, by counting the reflections. And uh, let's just use it on the telescope and see how it will look like. Okay, let's see how this eyepiece uh, and the Barlow combination show the image. Okay, you can see the central part is clear. I don't feel it's as clear. Oh, as clear as the Celestron. Yeah, it's as clear as Celestron. The sun is a little bit uh, um, more intense now shining. The field, is, the field of view is a bit smaller. But the central parts of the marigold flower is 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 not bad actually. I cannot see the screen because the sun is shining on it very it's quite bright, but uh, as far as I can see it's clear as good as the Celestron or Sky Watcher. Of course magnification is slightly higher. Okay, this is the bother. 2.2 uh, Barlow lens. As you can see, the image is very clear at the center. Field desktop is a little bit fuzzy. Field of view is smaller. The magnification is uh, 0 0.25 times uh, larger than the Sky Watcher and the Celestron. Overall, it's quite sharp. Okay, this is a classic, it's a Celestron uh, 2 times Barlow Ultima SV series. It's one of my better eyepieces.
It'll go to my best, uh, sorry, my best parlor. This is the um, field lens, the actual lens, lens quite large, at least two times the other. So I'm really excited to see, show you how it looks like, the view through this. Although it is one and a quarter inch also, like the other ones. It has a substantial lens. Um, to my experience, this series of the Ultima, of the eyepieces and the Barlow probably even, from the Celestron, they are the same as what you, you call the Takahashi LE series, uh, which are quite premium eyepieces. It just seems to me the manufacturer who built it for Takashi and Celestron was something like Vixen or someone uh, and just changed the label, printed different labels on them. They look very similar also. Let's just use this and see how it looks to view through this. This is the Celestron Ultima SV series. You can see the central part is really clear. The field stop is not very clear, but that can be because of my location of the camera. Now it's better, I think. Uh, it's very wide angle, as much as the Skywatcher. Central part is very clear, as much as the Skywatcher and Mead, Mead Telenegative. And I can say I'm really impressed with this eyepiece. Now, of course, the sun is shining into the screen, so I cannot clearly see, but I can see some details better than the others, so I can say that this is a good, at least in the 50% of the image uh, from the center is a good quality image. This is the Mead 5 times Tele Extender. Let me remove the cap and show you. It's quite substantial eyepiece, big. The lens of it is quite tiny. And is probably, yeah, this is comparing with the skull watcher. As you can see, it's one and a half times probably the size of the skull watcher. Uh, weight wise, it's probably two times the weight of it. Or oh, three times. And let's just see how it will be in the eyepiece holder, in the focuser. This is the five times uh, meat tele extender. Let's see how is the view through this telescope and the uh, barrel lens. Let's see. Things are much more clear. Definitely you can see more details. In the central parts of the marigold flower. Field of view slightly narrower than the other ones. Image is a bit dimmer as you can see, but also the sun is not as bright as the other times. Overall, I'm impressed, and you can see the little insect moving there. Um, it was not there, but now we can see it, so it's a good uh, measure of the accuracy. If you could go into the center of the image, that was better, but this is an insect even though listen to us. Overall, so far I could see more details with this tele extender, five times one. I'm now going to show you a 2 inch bar Barlow. It's an ED 2 times Barlow made by Moonfish. It's a brand name. Uh, and uh, let's compare it with the Skywatcher. As you can see, this is a Skywatcher. 
the size wise is uh, more than one and a half times almost twice the size of the uh, scar watcher the weight wise is probably four times of it and of course this is two inch this is one and a quarter inch so let's just put it in the focuser i will use the same eyepiece i will not change my eyepiece so you can compare the result of course before that i show you the lens good chunky big lens two inch the image probably will be brighter let's just anyway see so i've removed the um, other focuser one and a quarter to two inch one then now i put the one and a quarter to two inch one on top of it and I add my aspheric eyepiece on this. So practically we are dealing with the same chain, just in a different arrangement. Of course, the tail is now heavy. The tail of the telescope is heavy. So I have to, if I need, I may need to adjust it, but let's just see how it is. Let's see how is the view. field of view the first thing is that I can hold the camera very easy so eye placement will be also very easy and uh, clarity is as good as the sky watcher and celestron a tad less sharper but probably that's my oh no that's sharp now uh, and the central part of the flower, marigold flower Feel this stop uh, when it is visible is not very clear, it's fuzzy. Yeah, the central parts as sharp as the any of the Celestron or Sky Watchers. Or Celestrons and the Sky Watcher. Although the sun is not shining, the image is bright. It's massive, it's easy. I love this eyepiece, it's really good. The field of view is really massive. And again, that was the my hand planted garden. I planted everything here by my own hand. This is the distance to the uh, hanging basket. We were looking at the flower now at the center. And as you can see, it's around yeah, 20 meter away. Okay, this is the sets of the eyepieces that I was using from the sky watcher to the left to the mid five times, bother 2.4 or uh, 25 times, celestron two times, mid three times, telenegative. Uh, Celestron Ultima Series SV two times, uh, two inch Moonfish uh, uh, ED two times Barlow, and the uh, eyepiece I was using was 23 millimeter aspheric SV bony 62 degrees. And as you can see, I found all of them are sharp and very good. The cheapest one was probably the uh, Sky Watcher one, and probably the Mead one also and uh, the most joyful one probably for me was all of the most joyful i like the celestron sv and um, two times barlow of the uh, two inch uh, moonfish um, the rest of them are all excellent uh, mid five times tele extender uh, really good really huge magnification jump into magnification uh, and of course uh, uh, bother Q turret is also two and a half times uh, Barlow is also good Celestron two times Barlow probably was one of the sharpest ones I've had the one at the center and the mid three times select sender was good at the level of the sky watcher so you cannot go wrong with any of this if you choose them I found uh, my preferences but your uh, your eye and your telescope and your condition may be different as they say your mileage may be different Cheers and uh, clear sky.
And remember, for storing your bar and eyepieces, you can use a bag. A camera bag will be enough. And remember also to clean them. Uh, and a blower is really good if you want to, you know, to avoid dust or dandruff or anything falling on your eyepieces. Just get a cheap blower from anywhere you can get.